Welcome to this quick review of 40 of the most beautiful books published in 2017, with the aim of helping you find appropriate gifts for your nearest and dearest, or even better, take an opportunity to treat yourself during the holiday season. The books are loosely sorted by genre, and I've added links in the description box for every book to help you track down the exact edition if you see anything you love. Let's start by jumping straight into some picture books that will delight anyone with an eye for design. The Worm and the Bird by Coralie Bickford Smith. This stunningly illustrated picture book is a story about searching and hoping and how the smallest moment can be beautiful, perfect for adults or children. Coralie's design work is most recognisable in the Penguin Clothbound cover series and it really shines in her picture books, the first of which was equally beautiful, The Fox and the Star. Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide and Nibbles the Book Monster by Emma Yarlett are beautifully engineered books, packed full of peek-through holes where Nibbles is eaten through the book, with lift the flaps and interesting facts. You can even get a matching plush toy if you're buying it for a little one. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, illustrated by Charles Santore, would be perfect for an Alice collector, as this gorgeously illustrated volume has fold-out illustrations and comes with a poster as well. The Folio Society Little Prince edition is a fabulous one. It includes the heartwarming famous story with illustrations that have been lovingly restored to their original beauty, along with authentic French captions. It has delightful printed end papers and an illustrated slipcase, and it also comes with a fascinating companion commentary volume. Mina Lima's Beauty and the Beast is the third in their interactive fairy tale series. This volume includes fold-out maps, an advent calendar that reveals entertainments available in the palace, and the movable dial from the ring that Beauty uses to return to the Beast, as well as a myriad of other clever feats of paper engineering. If you don't have any of these stunning volumes yet, they've also released a box set with this volume, as well as Peter Pan and the Jungle Book. The World of Moomin Valley by Philip Ardar is a must-buy for anyone who loves the Moomins. There's lovely characters in the series of books and comics by Swedish-speaking Finnish illustrator Tove Janssen. This book has a die cut cover with gold foil and the internal layout is bright and beautifully designed. This year's Sword of Books has also released the first four special collector's editions of the original Moomin books using the original 50s and 60s cover artwork with gorgeous end papers and fold out maps. These are stunning little books and very affordable. I'm hoping the rest will follow soon. So far they've released Finn Family Moomin Troll, Comet in Moomin Land, Memoirs of Moomin Papa, which older British readers will know as the exploits of Moomin Papa, and Moomin Land Midwinter. And a few shops in the UK have also made available a sweet little short story, The Invisible Child and the Fir Tree, for which proceeds go to charity if you're looking for a stocking stuffer. The Wonderling by Mira Bartok is a gorgeously illustrated tale of a fox-like foundling who has a desperate desire to belong and sets off to seek his destiny in a magical Dickensian steampunk world. Tales from a Tall Forest by Sean Micalef is a humorously subversive Australian fairy tale reimagining that's been just beautifully put together with hidden details under the dust jacket, sewn binding, and exquisite black and white illustrations by Jonathan Bentley. For the Disney lover, the Pixar pop-up celebration will be published soon, and this features over 40 pop-ups from Matthew Reinhardt. Like the Pixar movies, each pop-up will have Easter eggs referring to other films, so this will be fun for both children and adult animation lovers to peruse and discover new things. Nevermore is the first book in The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend, another Australian author. And this has been touted as the new Harry Potter, with good reason. It's a lovely, fun, magical tale about a girl who's cursed to die on her 11th birthday, who discovers she can escape her fate by competing in the trials of the Wondrous Society. It has a lovely hidden illustration under the cover as well, sprinkled with gold and pretty illustrated chapter headings. Magic Misfits by actor Neil Patrick Harris is another very fun read. This volume features all sorts of trickery, not only in the story, but also in the book itself, with secrets and ciphers and codes to find, starting from the contents page, as well as throughout the book. Excellent fun. A Skin Full of Shadows by Frances Harding is also beautifully designed, with another lovely hidden cover. 
This dark historical otherworldly tale is about a girl who can be possessed by spirits of the dead. Lee Bardugo's Language of Thorns is a collection of six stories set in her magical Grishaverse, each of them richly atmospheric and lavishly illustrated. There are several collector's editions available for A Darker Shade of Magic, the first book in V.E. Schwab's Fantastic Shades of Magic series, about magicians who travel between parallel Londons. These editions shine a light on the readers of the book by including beautiful fan art. I have the US versions of the original series, so I chose to get the UK collector's edition, but there are multiple options if this book interests you. The 10th anniversary edition of Cassandra Clare's City of Bones also features some lovely illustrations. This one has the over 30 interior motifs as well as six full page character portraits. This is the book where Clary Frey first discovers the Shadow Hunters, a secret cadre of warriors dedicated to driving demons out of our world and back to their own. The Bedlam Stacks by Natasha Pulley tells the tale of a treacherous quest in the magical landscape of 19th century Peru. The hardback cover is a cool die cut, showing the beautifully illustrated end papers underneath. Her previous book, The Watchmaker of Filigree Street, is also a blend of historical events with flights of fancy, with this one travelling through Victorian London and Japan. Murder on the Orient Express is one of Agatha Christie's most celebrated mysteries, and with the recent movie release, there are a few lovely editions of this one popping up around the place. The Folio Society have a beautifully illustrated edition, with wonderful illustrations by Andrew Davidson. There's also a luxuriously illustrated film tie-in version that was just released. It's a large format book with artwork and photography from the film adaptation, and it's been beautifully laid out with 200 illustrations. This year has seen some lovely anniversary editions released. The 10th anniversary edition of Patrick Rothfuss's The Name of the Wind is one of the best I've seen. It has red stained page edges, a little hidden debossing on the boards under the dust jacket, and more than 20 beautiful illustrations, as well as a host of extra features including appendices discussing the calendar and currency systems, a pronunciation guide, and two expanded maps. It's really stunning. Centipede Press released a lovely edition of Fritz Lieber's Swords and Devil Tree on the 78th anniversary of the character's debut. It has five colour illustrations and a frontispiece, illustrated end papers, and it contains a collection of short stories featuring classic fantasy heroes Farford and the Grey Mouser. Warcross is a super fun young adult science fiction for which you want to make sure you get the UK edition with its fabulous rainbow cover under the dust jacket. This one features a teenage hacker doubling as a bounty hunter for people who bet illegally on a game called Warcross. It's a lot of fun. The UK editions of J. Christoph's dark fantasy The Nevernight Chronicles have these glorious hidden images embossed on the covers under the dust jackets. The most recent volume, God's Grave, features a wolf. Most of you have heard of La Belle Sauvage, the first book in the Book of Dust trilogy by Philip Pullman that's a companion to his Dark Materials trilogy. It's a fabulous read and there are several beautiful editions available. If you missed out on one of the limited edition ones, the UK standard edition is still lovely with a sprinkling of glittery dust motes hidden under the dust jacket as well as beautiful illustrated chapter headings. For the romantics we have the truly stunning deluxe edition of the classic romantic fantasy adventure comedy The Princess Bride written by William Goldman or should I say S. Morgenstern. This keepsake edition has a foiled and embossed cover, 50 full page colour illustrations by Michael Manamivable on rough cut green paper, full colour chapter openers and a lovely colour map on the end papers. For the movie buff, the Ultimate Visual History books are a fantastic series. I have here the one for The Dark Crystal that was recently released, and as you can see, as well as telling the story of the creative journey that led from story to screen, these books are filled with a huge range of visual art, from set photography to storyboards and production notes, but the real fun comes in the removable ephemera, such as script pages, sketches, and other delightful treasures to hold.
No gift guide would be complete without mentioning the illustrated versions of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. They've been covered extensively elsewhere, but I just want to say they're every bit as gorgeous as you would hope. And if you have a lot of spare cash, the deluxe editions are even more special. Art lovers should definitely take a look at Benjamin Lacombe's stunning book Frida, with excerpts from Frida Kahlo's personal diaries and Sebastian Perez's poetic musings. It features a series of consecutive die-cut pages, drawing you into her life, art and creative process. For the history lover, I'd recommend you take a look at the illustrated version of Shahnameh, the epic of the Persian kings. This slipcase book is simply stunning, with lavish and spectacular illustrations. It's a huge volume and offers many hours of enjoyment. The 75th anniversary illustrated edition of Edith Hamilton's Mythology is also quite lovely, although one might have hoped for more illustrations by the very talented Jim Tierney. And now let's finish with some lovely seasonal books. The Victoria and Albert Collector's Editions are quite fun and affordable, and to celebrate the season they've released Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. Of course, the main attraction of this series is really the covers, which feature William Morris patterns under the illustrations, and they look lovely together as a set on the shelf. And I also have two editions of Hoffman's holiday classic, The Nutcracker, to share with you. One is this interesting die-cut edition, which features clever paper scopes by the illustrator Shobna Patel. And the other is the third Christmas book by Finnish illustrator Sanna Anika. Sanna may be familiar to you through her collaborations with fashion company Marimekko. Her other Christmas books include Hans Christian Andersen's The Fir Tree and The Snow Queen. And all three are cloth bound and feature stunning illustrations. So there are links to all of these books in the description box below and I'd love to know which books are your favourites or if you're planning to get any or if there are any beautiful book releases from this year you think I missed. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you'd like to see the next collection of beautiful books and I look forward to next time.